What's up, my name is Jay and in this video, I wanna show you how you can add a cool panoramic slash 360 image to your website. So here I am in the panolens.js website. And if you go there and you click and drag, you can see that you can actually take a look at the whole image. You can go down, you can go up, you can take a look at everything. And I think it's very cool. It looks cool on any website. So if you click on documentation here, um, they will give you a little bit of like how you can get started. And if you notice, we're going to need 3.min.js and the panel lens.js. 3 is a, um, a 3D library, uh, a 3D JavaScript library. So um, it lets you add 3D objects to your website. And that's pretty cool. So if you go to the example, um, if you scroll down, you will see that we have here an interactive panorama with 3D models. So you can add 3D models, okay? But for now, we're gonna focus on the basics, um, just like an image. And then after that, if you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and, and try all this ones, even video panorama. Um, they have spots, so you can click on different things. Um, you can get very creative. So I'm gonna close this. All right, so this is my website, very simple. Um, it says, welcome to Miami, some paragraph. And my goal here is to add a beautiful photo, a panoramic photo of um, somewhere in Miami here in between these two paragraphs. So that's what I wanna do. So I downloaded panel lens I, and, and downloaded 3.min.js. So here you can see the files. I'm gonna put those links in the description of this video so you can go ahead and download them and you can use them. I have a main.js file that that's my file and it's totally empty. It's right here. Here is, um, I'm gonna add some code so we can get started. Let's go ahead. First thing I wanna add here in between these two paragraph, a div, and that's gonna be like our container for the um, panoramic photo, okay? So let's call, let's call it a panorama or I don't know, panoramic, pano image. You can call it whatever you want, honestly. Um, all right, so I'm gonna save that. And inside this, we're gonna render all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my CSS. That way we can actually put like a width and a height to that container. I already have some CSS, very basic as you can see. So it's called pano image, I think. Let me double check, panel image. All right, so very simple. I'm gonna put width 100% and height. Um, this can be whatever you want. I'm just gonna put maybe 600 pixels, something like that. All right, let's save that. And here you can see we already have this space here, but there's nothing. So let's go ahead and go to my JavaScript file and let's start coding. First thing, let's create a variable um, for um, our container. So go ahead and add a name, pano image. It can be whatever you want. Document query selector. And is the class pano image. Right, let's double check. Pano image, yep. All right, and now I'm gonna create another class, another um, a variable for the URL or the path of the image. So here I have a folder with images um, and I have this one, let me see if I click on it, we can, um, there's no preview. Oh, there you go, there's the preview. All right, so that's my image. Um, and as you can see, it looks kind of weird, but that's how they look. Um, so let's go ahead and use that one, I like it. So let's do, I don't know, we can put Miami Pano, and this is gonna be equal to, and it's a string, this is my path. So it's gonna be image, images, Pano 3.jpg. Um, all right, and I think that's good. 
And now we're going to start coding with the panel lens um, API and using all that code. So let's go ahead and first we're going to create our panoramic container. So let's do const. Let's call it uh, panorama. You can call it whatever you want. Equals to new panel lens uppercase. No, that's not what I want. All right, here you go. Pano lens image panorama. Okay, just like this. And here we're gonna add our image. So this uh, Miami folk Miami pano. Here you go. All right, and now is the viewer. So let's go ahead and create another variable. Let's call it viewer. If you don't understand, oops, um, why is a viewer? What is this exactly? I'm oh, sorry, I keep doing typos. Well, it doesn't matter here because this is my variable, but let's keep it, you know. So um, you can go to the documentation to explain everything there. Let's do new panel lens dot Nope, just like this. Viewer. I think it's uppercase, yeah. Viewer. Make sure you follow the uppercase, lowercase thing, because it's, if not, it's going to give you an error. All right. So, and now here we can add some options. So it's an object. I'm going to do curly brackets, open that. First one is the actual container. So this, um, this panel image here. Oh, what is, what, what's going on here? It's hyphen. There you go. <laughs> um, hopefully you, you were screaming at me like, what is that? So fixed. Okay. All right. So first one is container. And what is it? The pano image. That's our container right here. We're going to copy and paste it. Oops. Pano image. So let's save that and let's see if it works. And it did it work. Uh, must, yep, yeah, must be this pano lens. Okay, and lens. I did it twice. The typos are always um my biggest nightmare they're always a nightmare so let's save that let's see if that works and is all black oh forgot one more step is not going to show if we don't add this okay viewer just like this add and what we're going to add the panorama. All right. Hopefully this works now. Um, we didn't add to the viewer. So let's go ahead and save that. There you go. Let's see if that works. Let's click and drag. Beautiful. We can go up, down. Take a look at the whole view. You have here more options. Um, the mode cardboard, for example, this is if you have those um, cardboard goggles that you can take a look around. So it's, I think it's very, very cool. Um, you can go full screen too. And there's a lot of more options. So let's play with those now. So for example, one of the things that I want is to this to rotate a little bit automatically when you go to the website, it's like moving a little bit. So here in the options, I'm going to do coma, auto rotate, and it's going to be true. Save that, see if that works. There you go. And now if people go there, it's going to be rotating. Now the thing is like, is I, for my taste, it's very fast, it's too fast. So let's go ahead and control that um, speed. So let's do coma, auto rotate, speed, 
and let's do 0 0.1 save there you go I like it um, maybe too slow let's do 0 0.2 there you go I think that's good I think that looks good I don't know but um, I like it and then you can go ahead and just click on it and take a look around and then if you don't touch it for a little bit I think it will go back there you go it will go back to the automatic rotation awesome so I think we're good that's how simple and easy it is as you can see with this code you can have um, a panoramic image by the way I got the images from um, I think from Google there's a lot of free um, 360 panoramic images out there so just search for them all right and that's it subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day Day. Bye bye.